guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Ashton and on this channel I make videos all about health and wellness, spirituality, and personal development. So let's just hop right into this video because today's video is going to provide you with a lot of insight and a lot of value into what is your personal why, what is your motivator, and just what is driving you to do everything that you do. So let's just get right into this. So as you can see from the title of this video, this video is all about what is your why? What is your personal reasons for everything that you do? What is your biggest goals? What is it that gets you up and excited every single day? And if you don't have one yet, that's okay, but I'm here to help you figure that out and really just see how it's going to affect you moving forward, how it can help you progress to your goals so much faster, and why it's so important to know what is your why, what is the reason for everything you do. So this video is for any of you guys out there who may be working towards a goal of some kind, who are just trying to achieve something in the future, in the near future, in the distant future. You know, just you're trying to achieve something, you're working towards something, and you're trying to figure out how you can get there faster. And this is also for those of you guys who are maybe just trying to make some changes in your life, whether big or small. So I know that a lot of the people that I'm kind of aiming this video at right now is people who have joined my fitness challenge for the month. It's a super fun challenge where we're just trying to better ourselves a little bit every single day. I've provided some guidelines that if you guys are interested in, I'll link those all down below for you so you can go and check that challenge out because it's never too late to join. But yeah, this video is really just for those of you guys who are looking to make a change in your life, you're looking to achieve a goal of some kind, and this video is going to help you figure out how you can bring that into your life a little bit quicker. So in this video, I want you guys to be able to take action with the things that you learn from this video, the things that I'm sharing with you. So if you want, you can grab a pen and paper or if you want to just like take notes on your phone or something, that'd be awesome. But this video is for you and I want you to really get the most value out of it that you can. And so if you were writing down things that are coming to mind during this video while I'm asking you guys some questions that you can kind of think about, I think you're going to get a lot more out of it. Obviously you can still just watch this video if you aren't in a place where you can take notes or anything and just kind of think about it and maybe come back to this later and write down some things that are going to really just like help you progress. But this is really a video that I want you guys to just take advantage of and just learn and grow from. So this is something that I've been thinking about a lot lately for my own personal life because it's something that really helps me to just keep going when I feel discouraged or it really just gets me up and motivated and ready to go, ready to achieve my goals. So really just thinking about what is your main why? Why do you do everything that you do every single day? First of all, I think you need to identify the goal that you're working towards. Um, that might help you identify your why if you don't really know exactly yet what that is. And if you don't know what that is, that's totally fine. I just want to help you guys figure that out a little bit better. But knowing this is something that's so important and is going to help you so, so, so much. So if you don't know what your why is, take some time today over the next week. Um, just really think about why you are doing the things that you're doing. I think a good question to ask yourself is, why are you looking to make this change in your life? Why are you wanting this thing to come into your life, this goal that you're trying to achieve? Why do you actually want that? What is it about this thing that you want to bring into your life, this change or this goal that is really just so important to you? Like, what is it that's gonna help you when this does come into your life? Like, what will this mean for you when this happens for you? Why, why, why do you want this so badly? So yeah, like, what are you hoping to gain out of this? What is your motivating, driving factor about this thing that you're working towards that actually, like, gets you to go out and take action on this thing? And maybe you haven't been taking action on this thing, and that's okay. This video is kind of just to help you get on track as well, and you know, just remember why you started doing what you're doing in the first place. So like for me, for example, I've had a really big goal this year to try and just take my health into control and make my body healthier and stronger than it ever has been. And I'm definitely still working on that. I am not <laughs> there yet um, where I want to be at least, but I have really just been trying so much harder this year than I feel like any other year. <laughs> to actually just like get in shape and really just pay attention to the things that I'm eating and putting into my body and just like, you know, focusing on how I can better myself, my personal health, my mindset, everything like that. So I think that, you know, if I didn't know why I wanted that, 
I would really have a hard time actually like staying committed to it. And I'm not gonna lie, there's times where I definitely have not been committed to it over the past year. Like there's times where I'm super committed and then there's times where I just wanna lay on the couch and uh, eat Doritos <laughs> and watch TV and do nothing. But I think that, you know, even when we do have slip ups and things like that, it's super important that we just come back to our why and we come back to why we wanted to do this thing in the first place and just remember that and then it will help us get on track so much faster. And you know, it's definitely okay to take breaks in between. You can't be go, go, go all the time or else you will burn out probably very quickly. <laughs> but just being able to get back on track and remembering why you started in the first place is so important. So yeah, my why for wanting to be healthy is because I have a lot of people in my life that you know, aren't super healthy, they get sick a lot, they, you know, just aren't taking care of themselves as well as they could be. And I know that I have not been perfect at that either. I definitely have not taken care of myself as well as I should have over the years. And I can tell that that has, you know, really impacted my body and my health and my mindset about myself, my self-image and all that different stuff. And so I really want to just change that belief system that I have that I can be healthy, I can have the body that I want, I can do amazing incredible things that I never thought I could do before, I can be strong, you know, I can do all these different things and you know, I really want this for myself so I can prove to myself that I can do these things, so that I can prove to myself that anything is possible, that if I work and put my mind to something that I can make anything happen that I want in my life. And I think like I've always kind of had this limiting doubtful belief about myself that oh well I could never have a body like that like I could never do something like that that just requires too much strength and athleticism and I'm just not that kind of person like I've just always kind of had that belief about myself like oh well I'll never have a perfect body and I'm not saying I'm ha I'm gonna have a perfect body like or that I you know I'm gonna be like this totally shredded perfect thing you know, you know like I definitely still have some chub on me and that's fine <laughs> but I'm really just you know aiming towards just becoming my best, healthiest, happiest self, where I feel confident, where I can, you know, just do all the active things that I want to do. And I think that's one reason, too, why I wanted to do a Spartan race next year, which I'm still in the works of getting ready for that race. I wanted to start doing something that's challenging for myself so that I can overcome that limiting belief. But, you know, if I didn't have that, you know, that super deep why of why I want this thing so badly, I would not follow through with it. I just wouldn't and I know myself and I know that a lot of us are like this where you know if it's not something that we want bad enough you know maybe we'll try for a little bit and we'll work towards it and you know we'll think that maybe we'll get there someday but you know like if it happens great but if not you know like it's not gonna crush our soul or anything and I think that you know that's fine if we have those kind of goals and things that we're working towards but if that's kind of just like how we feel about it, we're never gonna probably actually like get that because we don't want it bad enough. We're just gonna give up after it gets a little bit too hard and we're just gonna be done with it and we'll find something else to spend our time doing. And for me, like this YouTube channel, this health coaching business, this just taking control of my life and wanting to help you guys take control of your lives, that's something I'm so passionate about. And I just, I know that if I keep going and keep you know, pursuing everything, keep putting in the effort, putting in the action, and just really doing all that I can to make these things happen for myself and for you guys, then it's gonna come true because it's something that I want so badly to work and to just be successful. So I think that's really just kind of the mindset that you guys have to get in in order to achieve certain goals and things that you have. And anything is possible for you. I just wanna throw that out there as well, that you can do anything if you just put your mind to it. Your mind is the most powerful tool that you have. And if you just really like, just take the time to develop your mind and put it in the right state and put in the belief in yourself that you can do anything that anyone else is doing. Like, no one is more special than anyone else. I think that's something that, you know, we need to really remember, and even I need to remember this too, like, we put people on a pedestal and just think, like, this person is so much better than me, like, I could never be like them, I could never do these things that this person is doing, oh, they have so much more money than me, so obviously I could never do the things that they're doing, or, oh, well, they're obviously way healthier and way fitter than me, so I could never go run a marathon like this person or something like that, you know? 
But honestly, like, we're all the same. We're all humans. We're all, you know, like, we all have the same capabilities if we want to have those capabilities and if we want to put in the action to, you know, make that happen. Like, anyone can have a healthy, strong body. It's just a fact. Like, if you want to, you know, just put in the effort that it takes to get there, if you want to eat clean, you want to work out, you want to do all those things to get to that place, you will have that kind of body. If you don't, you won't, you know, like it's just how it is. But, you know, it's really just that driving motivating factor that gets us to get out of bed every day, get going on our goals. And sometimes it's not going to work for us every single day. But overall, it should really be something that you're so fired up about, you're so passionate about, that it just gets you going all the time and taking action. If you don't have something in your life right now that you feel that way about, that's totally okay. And I totally get that because I've gone through a lot of periods in my life where I haven't really had anything that I felt that way about, haven't had anything that I've been super excited or driven by, and that's okay. Like, we'll all go through times in our life where, you know, we're not working towards something really big or really important to us and that's totally okay but if this is a period in your life where you want to make changes in your life where you want to just become the best version of yourself and achieve all the goals that you've been putting off forever then this is your time to figure out everything that is motivating you get out your piece of paper and your notebook and write down why do you want these things in your life why do you want to lose the weight why do you want to get healthy why do you want to start working on this dream that you've been putting off for years but you know deep inside is something that you want to do more than anything? Like, why do you want these things? And believe that if you guys want to put in the action to do this thing, then it's going to work out for you. And I know that and I believe that so strongly and I hope that you guys can feel my belief and <laughs> maybe take some of it and just put it into your own self that you believe in yourself and you can do anything that you want. But yeah, I think our why can be more than just ourselves too. Like our why can be for our family member that we have. It can be for our kids. It can be for a friend. It can be for any kind of person. Like say you're wanting to get healthier. That can be a goal that you want for your kids so that you can run around with your kids outside if you have kids. Or it can just be a goal like, okay, well, I need to be healthy and fit so that I can take care of this other family member that I have. Or maybe it's not at all that kind of related goal, but you know what I mean? Like, it can be related to someone else in your life that's important to you. And that can be a really big driving motivating factor as well. So, you know, it can be all these different kinds of things. And maybe, heck, it's just the fact that you're sick and tired of neglecting yourself and treating yourself without the love and respect that you deserve or letting other people treat you with the love and respect that you deserve or, you know, just not taking action on the things that you want. That can be a form of self-disrespect because you know deep inside that that's something that you want to do and if you aren't honoring that then you're not going to feel super happy or fulfilled. If you're sick and tired of living the way that you've been living, I can tell you right now you can change that. It all just comes down to your mind and making a decision that you can and just knowing why you want that so bad so that when times get hard you're gonna keep going and just like a quick example my husband and I we started working out earlier this year and we really like we would go up and down like we would do really good at working out and then we would do really bad at working out and that's kind of like you know just like a, a roller coaster effect <laughs> And that's okay, it happens, but we would be doing a workout one time. I remember we were doing Insanity together and we were doing a workout and both of us were just like, oh my gosh, like I just am not motivated enough to do this workout right now. Barely even going through the motions, like not doing anything at all. And like, why are we gonna even put up forth the time to do that if we're not gonna actually like take advantage of the time? And so I remember my husband just asking me like, why are you doing this workout right now? Like, why are you wanting to lose weight? Why are you wanting to get healthy? And he made me like answer the question and I was like, because I want to feel good about myself because I want to know that I'm strong enough to actually do these different things that I've never thought I could do before because I want to feel happy and confident in my body and in my everything that I'm doing right now. And then I asked him, I was like, okay, well, why are you motivated right now? Why are you going to do this workout right now? What is it that's driving you? 
and he gave me his reasons and honestly that was like such a good thing because then we actually like we're like okay like this is why we're doing this so if we're gonna do it we might as well like take advantage of the time and effort we're putting into it and actually just like make it happen and so we did and it felt so amazing and that's just something that I'll probably remember for the rest of my life just because it was such an eye-opener like yeah like if I just remember why I'm doing this then I actually will most likely put forth more effort into it even if I was struggling during it and even though I was going through a hard time and not wanting to do it because I was being lazy or because I just wasn't having a great day that day you just remember why and it will help you so so much to achieve everything that you want in this life and to bring good results out for yourself for your family and for those that you love. So I just wanna leave you guys just knowing that your why will lead you to achieve great things in your life. It will. You just have to make a decision that you're gonna put forth the effort that it takes and just keep remembering that why when times get tough and when you feel like quitting and giving up, don't give up, don't quit because there's always so much more ahead of you just right around the corner right before you quit is always when stuff is right about to happen for you. So keep believing, keep up the good faith that you guys can achieve all the things that you want in this life. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, take some time today, maybe later this week if you don't have time today, but take some time to write out all the things that you have in mind that you, you know, are working towards, why you want to do those things, and just get really clear on all those different things, and it will help you so much to progress your goals faster because you'll be more willing and more fired up and more excited to work towards those goals and I know you guys can do it I believe in you so believe in yourself if you don't have that self-belief yeah I know you can do it so believe that you can do anything and thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that this video provided value to you if it did please make sure to like this video so that I can know to make more videos like this for you guys in the future and make sure to subscribe so that you never miss videos from me you can turn on the notification bell and you can be notified every single time I post a video and yeah we can just continue building this team together where we all help and support one another and I can help you guys get to your goals faster and we can just support everyone together as a big happy family. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week. Go out there, kill it, crush it, you got this, and I'm so proud of you for everything that you're doing and for you taking the steps to, you know, achieve great things in your life. So thank you so much, have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye! <laughs>